welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video we are going to see about the skill test uh, basic things. What is actually skill test? What is its important? What is its mark division? What is the basic procedure? Uh, and also uh, about uh, the ISR technical assistant electronics. Uh, what is the uh, skill test syllabus? All these things we are going to see in this video. Okay, so what is actually skill test? Uh, in all the uh, nowadays examinations uh, for diploma or scientist or for technician or for library assistant, all these skilled examinations or jobs require skill test. In this skill test, what they are actually doing is they are actually putting you into a real life or work environment and they are actually analyzing your performance. Okay, so in general, we'll be doing some practical things uh, while we are uh, doing our jobs, right? So, uh, they are actually testing your knowledge when you are doing, a, doing the job actually. So, that is called skill test. For the case of ISRO technical assistant, skill test means uh, they are actually making you do some practical experiments just like you have done in your uh, examinations for your college or your semester examinations. Because uh, when uh, you are working in ISRO, if you got the job, you will be doing some uh, some works in the labs so they are actually testing you how you are uh, efficient in doing these uh, jobs these uh, practical things how much you have knowledge in the laboratory how much you are efficient in the laboratory all these things you are uh, i mean all these things they are testing okay so what is its importance so that is skill test so the selection procedure of technical assistant consists of stage one which is written test after the written test then there is a skill test okay so that is skill test. Skill test means practical knowledge test. That means you have to do some experiments. You have to give viva for this uh, laboratory uh, knowledge or the components or the basic theories you require. Okay, so that is skill test. Now, what is the importance? Why actually they are keeping this skill test is, as I said, they just wanted to analyze how much you are efficient in a real life work environment. Whenever you are uh, being put to a laboratory, how much you can uh, put your, that is how much uh, amount of work from your side you'll be putting, how much efficient you are, how good are you at producing results, all these things uh, they are testing. Rather than just conducting an interview, if you are being tested on a real life work environment, that will be more uh, easy for them to analyze or pick the right candidate, right? Rather than just asking you some questions, you'll be saying something you have marked up, but in the uh, real life experiments, that is when you are doing these experiments, they will be uh, able to analyze how much you can in real life work in laboratories and how much productive you are in laboratories. Okay, So that is the importance of a skill test in these technical assistant examinations. So that is why they have kept this skill test as a go or no go type of selection. That is the sec next second step of selection. I will come into that what is go or no go and everything. So, I hope you have understood what is a skill test. It is nothing but a practical test or a laboratory examination. Then, I also I hope that you have understood what is its importance. Now, moving on to that procedure. So, in laboratories, uh, in general, semester examinations, what all things we'll do? We'll have to uh, do some basic experiments, some difficult experiments, some simple experiments. Generally, we only do one experiment. But here, you have to you may have to undergo or you may have to do more than one experiment and also followed by a viva. What all things have been included in the skill test procedure? So uh, you will be uh, for your semester exams also you will be doing some uh, basic experiments, some tough experiments and also some easy experiments and followed by a viva, right? So here also you have to do some experiments. In a semester exam, we will be generally doing one experiment followed by a viva, right? But here sometimes you have to do various experiments of various difficulty levels okay so the total marking is out of 100 mark and in the 100 mark they have uh, splitted the marks as for diff there will be some difficult experiments uh, with 50 mark there will be some moderate questions or experiments given to you uh, that can be from any of the uh, labs which is included in your diploma syllabus there are various labs like digital lab microprocessor lab then uh, electronic devices, some soldering experiments. So all these communication lab, all these are the various labs, right? So from any of these labs, the questions can come. 
So there will be anyway a difficult question of 50 marks, moderate question of 20 marks, an easy question with 20 marks followed by a viva. So uh, also while doing uh, these experiments, sometimes you have to also undergo the identification of components. You, you should know the basic components we use in the laboratories. The basic working, for example, a CR, how to uh, produce a waveform in a CR, how to find the less adjust pattern, how to uh, adjust the timing, the frequency. The, all these things you should know. I'm just giving you an example of CRO or DSO. So the identification of components, that is the basic components like diodes, resistors, capacitors, various uh, components are also very important. So that is also included in this uh, division, right? That is, you have to do various experiments. Also, identification of, there can be identification of components and followed by a pipe. Now, this uh, division I'm introducing to you based on some research work which I've done over the internet, based on some uh, experiences some, uh, some people have shared on the internet over this, over the internet. And I'm um, giving you this information, okay? So, this is how the mark division can come. Anyway, the total marking is out of 100. Okay, you have to undergo some experiments. That is, you have to do some experiments. Also, you have to uh, give a viva. And uh, sometimes you will be uh, also have to uh, identify the components. Okay, the total marking will be out of 100. And the cutoff mark they have kept is 60 percentage, which will be uh, 60 percentage of 100 means 60 mark. 60 mark, right? So, you have to get a 60 mark to get through this. That is the second step uh, you require. 60 marks out of 100 to, to pass. Okay. And the timing allotted is one and a half to two hours based on the various locations and based on the experiments or based on their examination panel's decision. They will be keeping the timing. Generally, it can vary up to two hours. Okay. So, the total mark is 100. Cutoff required is 60. It is if you are uh, performing the skill test and if you uh, I'm sure that you will be getting 60 percentage means you will be passing the examination. Okay, so the cutoff is already been set. This uh, there is no curiosity about the cutoff because it is specifically written in the notification that you have to get a 60 percentage to pass this. Okay, the timing is it can vary from one and a half to two hours based on the various locations and the examination panel. Anyway, they have also uh, said that it is a go or a no go based examination. Okay. I'll explain about this go and no go very detailed. So many people have a lot of uh, confusions or doubts regarding this selection process, various stages, this go, no go, uh, everything. So uh, let us make it clear. Okay, so the first stage is a written test. After the pre-screening, the first stage is a written test. Okay, I've talked about this pre-screening in a lot of my previous videos. Pre-screening means you have, you are, you'll be screened based on that. There will be a lot of applications from this lot of applications. They'll be screening and after setting some cutoff, they'll be calling uh, some people uh, for writing the written test, which is, a, which is the actual first stage of selection. Uh, and this process is called pre-screening. Okay. Anyway, the first step is written test. And after written test, they'll be setting some cutoff marks and then uh, if you are getting that cutoff mark, you will be called for the second stage of selection, which is a skill test. Okay. In skill test, again, you have to do some laboratory experiments and you have to give some viva and you have to get from 100 marks, you have to get a 60 percentage of mark, the 60 mark. And if you are getting the 60 mark means it is a go, means you are, you are going to the final selection. Okay. And if you are not getting 60 percentage or if your marks is less than 60 percentage means it is a no go. Go means to the final selection. If it is less than 60 means you are, that means a no go or you will be eliminated. Okay, so that is go or no go. So this is actually a stage in which you, uh, which decides whether you go to the final stage or not. That is called go or no go. Now, in the final selection, see, the final selection is actually done based on the mark of the written test. If you pass the skill test means you are in the final selection, but the final selection is actually done 
based on your marks of your written test. If your marks is good enough or 90 percentage or 85, more than 85 percentage means there are high chances that you may get selected. Okay, uh, the general uh, cutoff percentage of uh, ISR or technical assistant falls greater uh, than 85 percentage up to 90 percentage or 95 it can go because sometimes the questions are very easy. Okay, so anyway the final selection is done based on the marks of your written test only. Okay. And sometimes some people will have tie in the written test marks, right? Some uh, two people consider that they are getting same mark. Okay, so what will the examination panel do? They will be selecting from this tie of two people. One person will be selected based on their mark again from the diploma. Okay, so if some tie is happening, then uh, the people will be selected based on the mark of diploma. Okay, so this is a simple selection process of technical assistant and this is the importance of skill test in this uh, selection process. I hope it is clear. Now let us see what are the basic uh, areas or the, what are the most important areas you have to cover for ISRO technical assistant electronic skill test examination. Okay, important areas you have to uh, cover uh, for passing the skill test okay or for uh, going through the skill test what are the important areas you should be familiar with these are lab experiments not theory i'm talking i'm talking about the lab experiments which you have done in your diploma okay uh, and also this only uh, this is not important actually the syllabus is your entire lab experiments which you have done in your uh, diploma but for the entire preparation it is not possible so at least try to cover these experiments okay so the first one is identification of components. You should be familiar with all the basic components which we generally or more often use in labs. Uh, all the equipments, the CRO, DSO, the sources, meters. So you should be uh, familiar with the operation of these components. Then clipper and clamper circuit. So this we have done in as basic experiments in labs. The clippers or clampers. Okay. That are important then the differentiator integrator comparator then wave shaping circuits some waveform will be given to you have to generate the waveform or you have to shape the waveform then rectifiers half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and showing the uh, waveforms in the CRO then diode cara you have to uh, measure some voltages or you have to uh, produce a cara of the diode then Transistor, FET, MOSFET, basic circuit. For, for example, for transistor, BJT, there are various configurations. Some configurations you have to uh, draw, measure the voltage, VC or any voltages you have to measure by connecting, after connecting the circuit. So these type of experiments you can expect. Then RC coupled amplifier, oscillator, then voltage regulator, uh, using Zener diode. All these are some of the basic experiments you have to uh, go through. That is uh, the most uh, easy way to cover this is uh, if you are going to give the skill test, you have to visit your college once and uh, use one day to uh, do at least uh, five to six problems or five to six experiments from this list. Okay, If you are able to do this uh, in your labs itself, it is very uh, good for you. The next important experiments are op-amp is very very important. There are various connections, various circuits of op-amp, inverting, non-inverting and you can create differentiator, integrator, comparator. So all these circuits can be created using op-amp. You should be uh, familiar with all these circuits. Okay, Basic connections of all these circuits you should know. So I am telling it uh, once again. If you could possibly visit your college and do these experiments, some of the basic experiments at least, it is very good for you for giving the skill test rather than just mugging up the theory and connection or uh, try to get your lab record or some lab manual if possible it will be very good if you are going to give the skill test okay then am fm uh, pm fm communication lab experiments ppm pwm pdm qpsk ask all these experiments for communication lab is very important. Then another very, very important lab is microprocessor and microcontroller lab. In this, you have to, uh, for example, if it is a 8051 lab, you have to uh, show the addition of 8-bit or 16-bit subtraction. Then various, there are various uh, experiments we do. 
all those experiments you don't need to uh, do but at least basic uh, experiment or how to give the input how to take the output all these things you should be knowing then digital lab is a it is it's a vast or a very big uh, set of experiments is there so uh, then in digital uh, lab you have to study the flip flop problems the counters the sequence detectors uh, the basic connection of the counters how to give the inputs all those things are very important digital lab is very very important lab okay then soldering is also very important yeah because you'll be doing some soldering while you're actually working in uh, isr or any uh, the technical related field right because in uh, electronics field if you are working in the core company you have to do this soldering thing so soldering things also is very important how to uh, do the soldering how to uh, arrange the components all those things is very important then since uh, in the theory you have to uh, study the vhdl and also see programming uh, you should be at least familiar with the coding of this vhdl and c programming sometimes they can ask in viva or uh, if you want to practice vhdl there is a software called silynx and also for c programming turbo c or visual studio can be used if you want to do at least basic programming because you can install it in your computer and do uh, anyway uh, that may not or may or may not be asking in your skill test but anyway since it is included in the uh, question papers you can see the questions of c and vhdl right so that's why i'm saying if you at least know this basic programming it is very good for you okay so these are some of the important topics you have to cover if you are going for your skill test of isr technical assistant or any uh, technical related examination skill test if you are giving these are very very important uh, experiments okay i have not uh, included these as various labs i have included all the topics okay as topics i have included so i hope that uh, this will be useful for you as i'm telling it once again only this is not important the entire syllabus of all the labs which you have done in your diploma is actually the syllabus of the skill test but that is not possible for an in time preparation so at least you could please go through these experiments and you could visit your college and do some of these experiments it is very good for you please have a uh, have a working a feeling in your college before giving the skill test you should visit your college to have that feel at least okay so uh, i hope that this video is useful for all those people who are going to give the technical assistant examination because there is a lot of people who is going to uh, that is who have actually applied for various locations so i hope hopefully they will be passing the written test and will be going to give this skill test so for those people this will be useful i hope if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching